This is two pints of Alala berries, one cup of water, and half a cup of sugar in the raw. And I'm going to boil it and put it through a sieve so that we get the seeds out of it so our friend who has diverticulitis can enjoy it. Welcome to LT Vegan Living. Okay, so, so we're gonna, gonna bring it to a boil. We're gonna update you as we make this vegan olive. How you say those berries? Olala berries. So vegan olala berry. They're sweeter yeah. than blackberries, and they have a very nice, um, mellow taste to them. They're really, truly delicious. It's better. I love them. And our friend can't eat them anymore because he's got a, a issue. But if we get the seeds out of it, he can have some olala berry jam. I might have to add more sugar to get it to thicken up enough, but we'll see. I might put in a tad bit of cornstarch just to make sure it thickens up nicely. It's got to boil first. Excellent. And there's little TJ. Say hello. That's our TJ boy. That's the TJ boy. He's a silly, silly willy. He's a willy, willy boy. Are you a good boy, TJ? He likes to play fetch and run around with Joey. And one pinch of salt. And what does that do? Brings out the flavor. Just one tiny pinch. So we're using Himalayan sea salt. Pink Himalayan sea salt. Ancient pink Himalayan sea salt. Yeah. And there's TJ again. Oh, and see, it's starting to come to a boil now along the edges. I've got to bring it to a full boil. And then I've got to find my sieve thing. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's quite a good tool. Okay, we'll be right back. There the, the olive berries are boiling. And I have to go find the special sieve that Linda's talking about. And now it's coming to a good boil. You can start to smell the fruit in the... Oh, it smells heavenly. And you see the foamy stuff? That'll come out when I put it through the sieve. Which I still have to find. So what we're doing here is we're washing the rice here so it's nice and fresh for when we put in the alala berries in it. And use soap. Right see how the berries are now cooking and they're getting very soft and I'm just boiling off some of the excess water to concentrate the flavor and make it into a nice jam. You see, they're very cooked now instead of a little hard bear. Well, they aren't hard, but they'll be able to go through the sieve and take all the seeds out and turn it into a jelly. Okay, now what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna flip it upside down. Uh, drain a little bit. Okay, so. You can see, carefully do this if you're doing this at home. It's hot. You don't want to splatter yourself. You want to make sure you have a bowl of adequate size to put it through. And it's not draining easily because of the fact that we've got. To Back on the stove. Put it back on the stove. So now you just, you can see some of the juices come through, and then you just turn this handle, yeah. and the juice underneath you see has no seeds whatsoever, which is the whole point of what we're doing here. It's not turning. Yeah, let me do it. You, you take a picture. Careful, it's, it's messy. Turns both directions. Isn't it easier one? I guess I was turning it the wrong way. I don't think it is the wrong way. It never works. You see how the pulp is, is gathering inside? You're going to see that steam, so you need to pick it up a little bit. And I'll stop and you can take another picture of it. And you can talk about it. Pulp. Juice below. That's the bowl. And it's the juice that's going to turn into a nice jelly with no seeds. And Gary will probably eat the bowl because he loves that kind of stuff. 
<laughs> That's me. Vegan all the way. Okay. It doesn't the inch push any of those things all the way down? Now, we've emptied out the ricer, and this is the pulp that we have left. And that pulp has seeds in it, which is what we're trying to get out. So what we're going to do is put it through a second sieve that's even finer to make sure we get rid of all the seeds. And then we have to get every bit of the goodness. And then you just take a spoon and you push until you feel like you've got all the juice out. So pretty soon this will start to condense down to just a little bit of pulp with lots and lots of seeds. You can see the seeds already in it. They're the white bits. And Alan's going to have himself some olala berry jelly jam. I think jelly is without the seeds. Jam is with. So see how it's very nicely getting cleared out of the last little bits of goodness and juice that we can add to our, and this will also, because it's a little bit thicker, help thicken up our, our um, jam, or jelly I should say. Always when you do these kind of things, scrape the bottom because stuff will stick to the bottom. And you can see what's coming off the bottom there. There's no seeds at all. That's absolutely clear of the seeds. Just nice, nice fruit. Is that it? That's it. I'm going to boil it a little more and then I'll pour it in the jar. For the so what thickens it? Um, the pectin and the fruit. And if I had a little more pectin, I would add it. And the uh, sugar. i got to make sure I get the... Um, where's the sponge? Now, I'm going to bring it back to a boil, and I think I am going to add just a little bit of cornstarch to it so that it thickens up faster for me. Okay. We'll see in a little bit. Bringing it back to the boil. There's not one seed in there, it's just the olala berry juice with a slight amount of sugar. Let's do it one more time. And you can see there's not one seed in there, it's just pure juice of the olala berry. Here are our jars that we're going to use to put the um, alala berry jelly in. This pretty one we're going to use for Alan and fill that up first. And this other one we're going to use for us. We're not going to sterilize them because this is a small batch and we're just going to keep it in the refrigerator. They were already sterilized. Yeah. I, I had to clean the cap, the cap oh. leaked on it. So, now this is very, very hot syrup. So we're gonna get a bit. And I'm gonna first pour it into this measuring cup, and then <clears throat> that will make it easier to get it into the jars. So you see, it's pure with absolutely no seeds. And this stuff right here is excellent. Oh, it tastes wonderful. Now the little jar first. And I'm gonna fill it up and leave just a little headroom for the steam. And then we'll let it cool before we put the cap on. And then we'll put some on this one. We'll give Alan this bigger one. <laughs> we'll keep the little pretty one. Maybe we'll give Alan the small one. And we'll, give, we'll keep the big one. <laughs> anyway, there we go. It's all done. And you can see it's already starting to thicken up on my finger. As it cools, it'll get thicker and thicker. I didn't put any thickener other than just a little bit of sugar and the natural pectin in the fruit. Okay, so that's the hollow of the berries. And thank you very much for watching us. Remember to do your cleanup after you've done some
jam, or in this case, what? Jelly. Do you do you clean up it when you you, you finish with your jelly? You don't want to have the cook do this. You should volunteer and help out your parents or your loved ones. Okay. If you like this channel, please subscribe or give us a thumbs up.